is Eva Heard. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we are exploring more of the plains, the fields of Hyrule. As you can see, we ran into the new Serene stable last episode. We have a couple things we want to do here, but we know that Impa and the Geoglyphs are waiting out this way. This is a new adventure log um, quest that we can take on and we're going to focus on for now. Um, we talked to Kado about it earlier. You saw Kado at the new Serene stable and told him about your search for Princess Zelda. He said you should meet with Impa, who is at the ruins very close by. She may have information about Princess Zelda's whereabouts. So yeah, let's go and do that. You can see Impa way out here on that little thing, I think at the least. We're gonna find out together. And then I think after that, we might try to catch a horse. We'll have to wait and see if that's actually gonna work out for us. But, oh, there they are. Hi Impa, long time no see, right? How are you doing? What is it meant to depict? Uh. What a surprise it is to see you here after all this time, Link. Impa, the Sheikah Elder. I heard you had gone missing. It is certainly a relief to see you back. And in one piece, more or less. Hmm. And Princess Zelda, where is she? Well, uh, oh. what? She still yet, has yet to return? In that case, we must use all available means to search for her. Link, when Princess Zelda went missing, Something else happened all over Hyrule. During the upheaval, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere. Images that sprawled across the fields and hills. Oh. We are calling them geoglyphs. I understand that they have been found in locations across the kingdom. Kato and I are traveling from region to region in hopes of seeing them all. Yeah. I noticed this geoglyph from a distance while I was standing on high ground. Examining it up close, I could not make out what it depicted. I thought I might have a better view from up in the sky. It took the air in the I took to the air in the balloon Pura gave me, but then, alas, the wind struck and completely sheared the balloon off the base. I have racked my brain for ways to reattach the two parts to no avail. Ooh, so maybe we can help with this. Impa and the geoglyphs, we can open up the adventure log. Impa was investigating a geoglyph near New Serene Stable. She's frustrated because it's impossible to see the full picture from the ground. If you fixed a broken balloon she told you about, she might be able to get a bird's eye view. Well, that is definitely something I can do. And we also have Impa's profile added. Impa, the Sheikah Elder, former chief of the Sheikah who served the royal family of Hyrule for generations and is a living witness to its near extinction. Sometime after guiding Link through the calamity, Impa made her granddaughter Paya the new chief. Being over a century old hasn't stopped Impa from doing her part in the search for Princess Zelda. She's investigating the geoglyphs around Hyrule, certain they will provide clues to where the princess is. All right, that's great. I love these little character profiles. So basically what we have to do here is fix this up a little bit, which I don't think there's a way I can picture any of this, right? Doesn't seem like it. So we will just uh, fix this up using the Ultra Hand so that we can get a better look at this geoglyph. No, what is it? Oh no, uh, there we go. I might have to back up a little bit. <laughs> Just get some more space. We'll rotate this over and attach it right about where it should be. Seems good to me. There we go, it fits together perfectly. So what do you think about this? Uh, oh, you fixed my balloon? Thank you, Link. Will you come with me to take a look at the geoglyph then? Sure, time to head out then. Ah, I nearly forgot. Would you mind doing one final thing for me? Light a fire there and the balloon will start to float. Then we can be on our way. Sounds like fun. So she's waiting up there for us. Uh, let's just pop down here though, grab this Hylian Shroom, and then we'll try it out. So what I can do, I think I already have a torch, yeah? I can <coughs> just do this and light it on fire, right? Uh, is that working? There it is. Ah, da, da. And then I just will uh, put this away for now. And we're up into the sky so that we can get a better look at this geoglyph. This is gonna be cool. Oh. Too high up, I feel faint. Are you okay? But finally we can see it. The geoglyph, well done, Link. You know, I read something in the village's old literature, a passage about what the ancients called dragon's tears. Where the tears rest upon the earth, we marked it down the images to which they gave birth. Oh. I believe this geoglyph is one of such image, but even from this vantage, its meaning is no clearer to me. Nor can I figure out what dragon's tears might be. Maybe it's literal. There are dragons flying around up there. But you know, if the literature is correct, one of them should be quite close, near the geoglyph, or even within its borders. Yeah. Would you take a look around? 
This could be the clue we need to discover Princess Zelda's whereabouts. If you'd like to examine the geoglyph from ground level, you can float down with the paraglider. No need to worry about me. I can manage a simple landing. All right then, so that's great. Impa and the geoglyphs. You hitched a ride on the balloon and saw the whole geoglyph from the air. According to Impa, hidden somewhere in the geoglyph is something called a dragon's tear. S search the most likely spot to find it. So obviously this is what we're currently focused on. If I had to guess, it'd be in the eyes, right? A tear falling from the eye seems to make sense to me, but there's even a symbol on their forehead that sort of looks like a tear as well. But we'll search all over it. Do you have anything else to say before we go? I believe this geoglyph is one of such image, but even from this vantage, its meaning is no clear to me. So I guess not. Let's try to figure out the dragon's tear. And let's hop down. I mean, to me, whoa, what was that noise? Uh, oh, I think Impa disappeared, okay. Uh, very cool, isn't it? To me, it looks like a Zenai, or Zonai. This is what I wanted to talk about at some point, but in the first episode, I called them Zonais, Zonai, something like that, and then I heard the actual cutscene where Zelda said Zonai, but no matter how I pronounce it, I get a lot of people correcting me. It seems like I've said Zonai, Zonai, Zenai, and no matter what, I'll have people saying, hey, you're saying it wrong. So I was gonna say it whichever way feels natural. If that bothers you, I'm sorry, but what more can I do? It seems like every time I try to do a little bit better with it, the more people point out I'm doing worse, so I'm sorry. Oh, but let's see. This is one of the like tier symbols, and there's a Korok under there. Okay, well, that's nice. Yeah, you found me. So get a Korok seed for that one. I mean, hopefully we can go and get another Vantage if we need to, but that's at least some good information. That, you know, there's some Koroks around here. I feel like it would be closer to the actual eye of this whole thing. I'm just sort of looking around a little bit too. Uh, and we'll also try to catch some horses soon. For now, I'll leave them alone. Because we need one for our own stable to hopefully earn a point for our uh, pony points. Ooh, do we have this butterfly? Let's see, is this just another, it's another summer wing. Cool though. Uh, what's going on with this big rock? If we could push this out of the way, there could be something under it. Doesn't look like it though. So that's not too much. Up here, there could be a couple of things going on. It could be easy to get lost in the details of everything though. Hmm. I do think I want to switch over to the, oh, you know what? I'll do some other time. I should probably try to picture a, uh, I'm a Korok just in case. Can I move this one? I can't move this one. Huh, usually we could, but not this one. But up here we're co getting closer to sort of the, the head area. And that's where things got really interesting. Like here's the tier of it, right? Oh, right there. This is glowing. Examine. Whoa, look at this. This has gotta be something. Ooh. That looks like a deer, all right. Oh man. What in the world is this thing? Like, what will it do? Whoa. Oh, is this a flashback? I think it is. I think that was Zelda. And the tear that she picked up from the Demon King. What? Oh, oh dear. mean to startle you. I'm sorry. It's okay. My name is Sonia. And could we ask what your name is? I... I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule, Zelda. What an unexpected answer. We are the king and queen who founded Hyrule after all. Or at least we were the last time I checked. You two founded Hyrule? 
And you're the king? Hmm. My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. King Raru? And Queen Sonia? Uh, but that must mean... I knew it! She's been sent to the past! I totally caught it with the, the Master Sword see, scene. That is so cool! So she is with the original founders of Hyrule. <laughs> Raru and Sonia. Now we know all about it. So Zelda is trapped in the past. Well, at least she's safe. That is such a revelation. Whoa, and we got an adventure log memory. Number three, where am I? Tear of the Dragon, number one. After disappearing into the depths under the castle, Zelda wakes up and meets two strangers who introduce themselves as King Raru and Queen Sonia. She's left startled by suspicion that she's heard those names before. Why is it number three? What happened to uh, Adventure Log 1 and 2? Impa and the Geoglyphs complete. What a revelation! Oh. Link, you look distracted. What's wrong? Uh, well, huge story plot implications. That's what's wrong. Oh. Goodness, you say you had a vision? Saw mysterious figures? And then Princess Zelda? Hmm. The geoglyphs, the literature, the dragon's tears, and now a vision of the lost princess. What if these are all connected? Let us continue to examine the geoglyphs. They may contain further clues that lead to Princess Zelda. Mm -hmm. You know, according to the literature, there is something to do with geoglyphs in the Forgotten Temple. The Forgotten Temple lies at the bottom of the canyon in Hebra. I think we should make our way there soon. Well, that's exactly where I planned it on heading. The Dragon's Tears new objective. Mm -hmm. The literature hints that something related to the geoglyphs can be found within the Forgotten Temple. All right, so the temple is at the bottom of a canyon in Hebra. I suggest you steal yourself and then go and seek it out. That, that is just so cool. Oh my goodness, so much to take in there. Because the more time went on, the more we learned about this, the more I was like, Zelda has to be in the past. Just the way that we only catch glimpses of her, that it has the same yellow aura as the recall ability, which is what Zelda taught us. There is clearly something happening, and that confirms it. She's in the past with Raru, the first king of Hyrule. Pretty crazy. So in that way, Zelda is their descendant, I think. Wouldn't it work that way? Anyways, you can see our adventure log here. Um, that's our main quest, but we also have uh, our memories, some of which we're missing. The Awakening, of course, was the opening cutscene. While investigating the mysterious gloom under Hyrule Castle, Link and Zelda encounter a mummy that attacks them. Events spiral out of control when the Master Sword shatters, Zelda falls into the depths of the Earth, and Link, gripped by a mysterious arm, is enveloped in light. But the first memory is still a mystery. So I can't wait to discover the rest of these. That's gonna be so cool. Uh, was there anything else here? I don't think so. Obviously, we can see side quests and stuff. But let's see the Dragon's Tears. You found one of the mysterious dragon tears within a geoglyph and received a vision about Princess Zelda by investi investigating it. Impa thinks that the mystery of the geoglyphs might connect to something that's inside the Forgotten Temple. It's located somewhere along the bottom of a canyon in Hebra. Cool. So I think we'll go ahead and put that as our objective for now, I guess. Uh, but we're still, of course, trying to get to um, these regional phenomena. This is sort of kind of on the way. But there's a lot to do, for sure. So, I mean, we'll just sort of slowly make our way over there as we would with anything else. No, no. Got some bad guys over here. I guess we'll fight them off, but then I need to turn around because I definitely want to catch a horse and bring that for that one side quest. You can still see... I think that was the... Uh, you can still see the Korok way down there. That's so cute. Uh, Yeah, let's try this out. There's no way you see me. You see me from there? What is that? It, no way. No way. <laughs> They're working together now. That's the thing. The tell it to tell us. We got a battle tell us. Oh my goodness. Whoa. That is so cool. Oh man. What do we do about this thing? Uh. I mean, for right now, we'll do this, I guess. But you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's do this. Do I have any cool weapons? The torch. We can combine it with this. <laughs> And then, are you ready for this? You better catch it. Huh. Boom, that didn't do as much as I was hoping. A uh, little bit of a letdown. That's okay. Uh, we'll go again. I need to fight these guys off of there. So if we could just hit a couple of them, that'd probably be a good start. 
Vitalis is coming though, I gotta be careful. Come on, come on. How is that not a headshot? Don't you dare. Come on, come on, it's getting closer. I'm scared. One more, one more. Gotcha. So it's just me and you, buddy. You better watch out. Ow! Uh, never mind. Yikes. So the Taluses are not easy to fight, as you can see. We ran into many of them in Breath of the Wild. I haven't saved recently. Uh, so hopefully the game auto saved after that one mission. Um, what an experience. That is so cool though, the Bokoblins working together with the Talus, such a cool idea. Okay, we're back here. Um, I mean, I'll give it another go, because why not? They might notice me straight away, but if they do, gotcha. How did they not, oh, I'm hitting, because I'm hitting the Talus there. Okay, ooh, they're in each other now. Okay, dude, watch it. If I could, just knock the, these guys out of the way first, and then worry about the Talus after. You are so rude. Come on. There we go, got rid of you. Oh, a little too high. There it is. So it's just me and you now, big guy, and you know what I wanna do? I want to get the bomb arrows. This is like we would in Breath of the Wild, just like old times, huh? This is gonna hurt, you better be ready. If I don't miss. Oh, I got it, good. Okay, so you're probably gonna fall over now, right? Oh, there it is. But can I actually get over? Oh, up there in time? I don't think so. Not from this angle. So we might just wanna use more bomb arrows. Okay, come on. Well, the music is so good. I gotta be careful not to get hit by a flying rock this time, though. Oh, come on, come on. I missed that one. I really need to, whoa. No, you're kidding me. You are kidding me. Uh, That didn't do anything. Um. I still have my torch now, right? Uh, let's see. That's not what I wanted. Okay, well I got another bomb arrow. I might as well make the most out of it if you don't try to hit me. Oh my goodness, fooled me. So, weapon, this, no, no, no. Go like this, use it with this so that I can just maybe toss it up there. Come on, ah, this is tough. How am I getting up there? Oh, well I made a lot of an updraft over here with the fire, if we can run quick. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 come on. I gotta get up here, gotta get up here. Perfect, I need to restore my stamina. And while we're waiting for that, let's go with something crazy here. This Hinox hammer might be my best bet. Come on, ready? Oh, go, 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 got it, come on! Almost, oh, he sent me flying, yikes. Oh, not good. I need to move, I need to move, I need to move. It's about to get me. Uh, but let's go for one more. Got it! Our traveler's bow broke with that one, but you're about to fall, and we got the fire coming in again. Here you go, you were in so much trouble. One more hit should do the trick. There it is! The battle talus has been taken down. That was so cool! And down goes this big guy. Man, so let's see what we get out of this. First off, a lot of ember, or amber. But anything else here that could be cool? A lot of ruby and stuff, really good rewards. Um, a boko bow that I'll take. Uh, amber, ruby, flint. What is this? It's like a stone heart. What do I do with this thing? Uh, it's gotta be something. Stone talus heart. Whoa, could I combine that with a shield maybe? I can't like take it. It's gotta be combined with a shield then. So what if I tried this traveler shield? Plus 13. Oh man, that's cool. So I'll definitely have to make the most of that. That's really neat. Um, I don't know if I need this torch anymore, but we're just trying to take whatever we can from whatever we have here. Uh, there's some more goodies over this way, including a baked apple, probably got cooked in the fire. And what about these rusty halberds? Do I need any of these? Wait, not like that. Uh. Nope, I got the pictures of them. So I do wanna take this, bring it all the way up, and then just smash it, even if we get a couple of arrows out of it or anything, always good. That was so cool though. I don't think I need the torch right now, I'd rather take a halberd. And is that the dragon? I thought I saw the dragon over there. That might be another geoglyph though. So maybe that's where we can find more dragon's tears. If not quite the dragon, at least we at least have that. Uh, more horns, fang, uh, this which I can bring all the way up. I'm gonna fall all the way back down. It didn't work. Uh, try again. That was such a cool battle, though. Uh, another arrow. So let's check out what's inside of this chest. It better be a good reward for all that fighting, but I guess we'll see in just a moment. Elizal Reaper. 
a tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Oh, that sounds good. So you know what, I'll drop this rusty halberd then. Um, Drop that, have this, and then I will uh drop it for a second just to make sure we have the photo of it. Yeah, this is uh, the Lazalfos horn. Cool. Definitely wanna make the most of all that. Take this back and let's go catch ourselves a horse. That's my next goal. But man, what an episode already. Seeing, you know, information about the past, fighting new crazy boss fights, pretty cool. So let's see, can I take a picture of a Korok? Cause there's hundreds of things we need to take photos of. I I might come across as me like sort of obsessing about it, but it really is that we have so many things to photograph. You're just cute, but doesn't count towards anything. So I'm not gonna bother. But I do wanna eat one of those cooked apples that I picked up. There you go, just so we're back up the full. Now this is where we gotta be careful. But my hope is I can sneak up to one of them. Some of these horses looking a little bit familiar. If I could just get a little bit closer and hop on top of one, we can use that for our one side quest where we're trying to help out that one lady with the wagon. Gotta be really, really quiet though. Horses are super easy to scare off. Hi, uh, don't mind me, but I might try to hop on top of you. Mount, I pressed the wrong button, so that's not help. Oh my goodness, and they're all gonna run? I don't want that. Okay, well they don't run super far. So I was supposed to press A, I was gonna press X to jump on top of them. They might be a little bit more on edge now, but we can do it, we can do it. So, a little bit closer. Mount, here we go, here we go. And I guess I can just ride you, so we can just keep smooth or soothing you, and over time, they will hopefully take a liking to us. This is the closest we get the Link talking. And I think they're starting to like us a little bit more. There we go. Come on, you got it. You're doing great. So proud of you. Uh, come on. Here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're still a little resistant, but yeah, they're doing good. See, what if I just bring you over here then? I mean, it's still a wild horse, so I don't know if this will work, but uh, I just want to try to, you know, quietly walk over here. Hi. Wait, I gotta, whoa, here we go. Was this good enough? Uh. Did you catch this angel for me? It's just what I pictured. Perfect for pulling my wagon. All yours. Mm -hmm. Huh? You mean that? You'd really part with such a wonderful horse? Uh. Yeah. Thank you, wow. Who knew stuff like this really happened? I'm so, so happy. I'll just go ahead and put a harness on it. A harness? Uh. A harness is a piece of equipment that you can put on a horse on horses you own. With the harness, you can connect your horse to a wagon or an item you need to take it somewhere. If you collect enough pony points, you can get one as a prize. So bear with me a moment. Wow, that's a nice harness too. And we're all set. Very detailed. I can't believe it. A wagon of my own and a beautiful horse to pull it. To think I started with that old piece of junk and ended up with this, amazing. Thank you so, so, so much. Here, it's all I have left after buying the wagon. I'm begging you, no forcing you to take it, please. We get a silver rupee, wow, that is very generous, 100 rupees, it's dazzling silver light reflects your beaming smile. Oh, that's right, there's one last order of business. What's your name? Uh. Link, hmm, Sumi Link. Maybe Zuli or Lumi? Or what about Zunk? I like Zunk. I'll call this wagon Zunk. <laughs> I promise to look after Zunk for as long as I live. <laughs> Feel free to come visit the two of us anytime. <laughs> All right then, so horse-drawn dreams completed. Isn't that great? Zumi's dream of a horse-drawn wagon once looked hopeless. She didn't have wheels or even a horse, but you repaired the wheels and caught a horse, resulting in a horse-drawn wagon she can feel proud to own. This wagon she dubbed Zunk, a combination of your name and hers. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, Link, did you come to check in on Zunk? Since you worked so hard to make my wagon complete, I promise I'll never, ever let anything happen to it. But is that all you wanted, or do you need something from me? Mm. I may not be, a, be of much help, unless you want to hear some things I know about horses. Sure, mm. tell me about horses. Hmm, let's see. I think you know how to catch them by sneaking up quietly from behind. <laughs> oh, did you know that how to tell a horse's temperament from the patterns on its pelt? Horses with spots are docile and easier to tame. 
That makes them easier to catch. Uh. Ones that are one color with no patterns tend to be wilder and more difficult to tame. But they're faster and stronger, and you can spur them on, uh, <laughs> spur them on more. Good to know, right? I'll kind, I'm kind of an expert on horses, so if you want to learn more, just ask. Tee <laughs> I won't reveal all my secrets at once. Got to keep them coming back. All right, so we aren't quite done. I do want to catch one more horse that we can put in the stable for ourselves. Ooh. It seems we finished investigating the geoglyph here. However, there are still many places left to investigate across the kingdom. Mm. I wonder where we should go next. Should we venture to the Forgotten Temple, the bottom of the gorge in Hebra? Or perhaps we should visit the geoglyphs in another region? Well, I think we're gonna go to the Hebra one, personally. But in the meantime, I gotta run back out here and grab myself another horse. Okay, I definitely want the blue one. Oh no, oh no, I scared one and that scared the rest of them, darn. Okay, maybe that's better though. Cause now they're a little bit more separated. Uh, gotta get rid of you two, huh? All right, all right, come here. Gotcha. <laughs> all right, now we'll grab some of these, I guess. Got the key side bob, another one right over here. And sneak up on you again, come on. What, was there something else? Oh, a rock. I don't need a rock. Come on, just get a little bit closer. We'll hop onto this one. Come on, come on, don't go too far. Almost, almost. And, hey, hey, wait a minute. Okay, let's get out of here together. Ah, they're chasing us. Leave me alone. That's not what I wanted. Okay, we gotta go, go, go. We're running out of here together. Oh, man. Not what I expected, but uh, that was pretty crazy. So yeah, if we wanna bring this one back to the stable, I know, I know, that was scary. We're out of it together. There we go. We're jumping over the fence. Ah, oh, that was so cool. Great work. Okay, hey, I wanted, to, I wanted to talk to you. Oh, turn around, turn around, I'm sorry. Not the best horse rider. Let's move forward. Here we go, yeah, just, just slowly. And then I want to talk to you. There you go, you're here early, aren't you? Link, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. Please visit the inside counter if you want to lodge with us. Now, how can I help you? Register a horse, understood. So you want to register, huh? According to our books, you entrusted a horse to us once before. I'll just go ahead and register any horse that had, had your name on it. Come talk to me later if you want to take them out. Now then, once again. Yeah, uh, wait, what? I have a horse registered from the previous game? Did it remember that save? Anyways, we have a new horse. You sure you want to register it? Sure. Ah. Normally, when you register a horse, we charge 20 rupees, but we've got a special promotion going on right now, so you can register your first horse for free. Ah. Since you're registering a new horse, we'll add one point to your pony points. Nice. So now we have a reward available. Ah. Oh, it looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step up to the side counter where I can keep, I keep the ledger, then call me over. Well, then I'll move on to the registration process. First, please enter the name of your horse. So I don't know if Sky is currently in our thing from Breath of the Wild, but I just wanted to do Sky Junior. Um, there we go, Sky Junior. Are you sure you want to name this horse Sky Junior? I think so. Oh. Name registered. You want to take it with you? Or board it, or board it. Um, I'll board the horse. Cause didn't we have a, a horse that was sky card that we named Sky? I'm pretty sure we did. Uh -huh. Your horse is safe with us. Thanks for using the stable. Mm. Ever since Hyrule Castle started floating, things have been falling from the sky. Almost makes you wonder if this is the end of the world. Okay, so let's see what our other horse uh -huh. was. Welcome Link, do you wanna register a horse or take one out to ride? Take a horse. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have Sky. <laughs> That's so cool. And then of course we had the really big horse. I forgot about that. Whoa, it's so cool that I remembered my horses from Breath of the Wild. Oh man, that makes me so happy. Um, And some of these, you know, our bond is maximum with Sky. So we'd probably just keep going with Sky, but it's cool that we got Sky Jr. Um, Interesting. So you're not, understood. Anything else? Uh, Goodbye. Come back again, anytime. So now that we have enough points, let's go to the ledger and receive a reward. Okay. Ah. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Ah. Your reward for three points is a towing harness. Towing harness, adorable harness that comes as a set with a horse saddle. Attach a wagon or other objects to the harness for a horse to tow. Oh. A harness is a type of horse gear that you can attach to various things. For instance, a wagon or an item you'd like to tow somewhere. 
If you have the you have just up to two more points, uh -huh. the horse god fabric will be yours. That's a one-of-a-kind item you can bring to the Hateno or Hateno Village dye shop over in Ucluda. We appreciate your patronage. Huh. So I need to get some more points for that. But for right now, I think we've wrapped up pretty well here. Let's head out to, you know, more parts of our adventure. We got this geoglyph dumb. We met Impa. I know I could ride the horse around here, but it's too late. Unless I could call it over. Like, what happens if I try to call it over? I don't think it just shows up out of nowhere. So I'd have to go get it out of the stable. So we'll just run for now. I mean, and that's fine with me because I really just want to get like a good experience running through the wild and stuff before we go too crazy with anything else. Now the, the path wants me to go down this way and I'm sure we will eventually. Is that a new one? I don't think it is. I think it's up, that, that's the summer wing again. And I'm sure we'll go down that way eventually, but I am focused on this tower next. If we can get this tower, it will clear out a bunch of stuff for our map, making it easier to sort of see where we're going and what we need to do next. So you know what, Let's, why not? Let's go for it. Gonna run all the way up here. I was hoping to see at least a little bit more action, but I guess, you know, if we're just running forward for now, that's fine too. Well, here we go. Well, those are new, I think. The coloring is a bit different. Let's get a little bit closer until it actually allows me to take a photo of it. This should be like a blue uh, heron, blue winged heron, which I guess I actually have taken a picture of. Never mind. Well, now, you know what, I want. <laughs> I was gonna say we could probably use some bird meat, but I'm not gonna worry about it. We're getting to the tower pretty quickly now. If it's anything like the previous one, it should be fun. Oh, that's a new butterfly for sure. That's a winter wing. Now, I don't know if we can hit bugs with arrows. I'm gonna say probably not. Oh, oh, oh no. That That's not what I wanted. It totally destroyed it. I thought it would make it fall. Whoops, I'm a monster. Sorry about that. Uh, nothing under that rock. So, oh, there's another, um, wait a minute, it's Hestu. Chalaka. Hi, Hestu. And there's an Evermean over there. Are you okay? Those trees over there. So scary, Chalaka. Yeah, they're not nice. Hestu's concerns. Those trees over there are so scary. Okay, he doesn't say anything new, but Hestu's concerns. This is a side adventure, not a side quest. You run into the Korok Hestu at the foot of Lindor's brow. He is afraid of something and has stopped in his tracks. These are, tr these are, there are trees where he pointed, but what could he be so afraid of? Oh, we know. We walk up. <laughs> there it is, start attacking us and I don't like it either. So I understand, buddy. Let's go ahead and, uh, no, no, no. What am I doing? Not what I wanted, I want this. And to set you on fire. Oh no. And then while that's happening, maybe I should uh, attack you a little bit. Come on, can we do it again? There we go. One more time. Oh, okay, that's all I can do. Uh, can I take a picture of rupees? I can't, so we'll just go and pick them up. <laughs> and you, could you leave me alone? Here, get back to bacon. Got a blue rupee right over this way, and oh, you're trying to get me with that one. I'm not gonna get squished by that, that branch, that's for sure. And all this stuff is gonna slide right down the mountain. Oh wait, you. I still haven't taken a picture of it. I gotta remember that when we defeat one of those, it'll have a high tail lizard in it. So this next one, right? Yeah, you. All right. Gotcha. That fire might spread though. We gotta be careful. We'll go for another one as soon as this fire is done. We'll see if that happens. Come on, come on. Eddie, right about now. There we go. See, you're gonna be in trouble. Uh, don't hit me. Uh. Okay, luckily they didn't. And Timber. There we go, we defeated both of them. And, Shalakala? The scary things are gone. Well, I'm glad we could help. You see me, you see me. My name is Hestu. I'm the musician of Korok Forest, up northeast. I'm known for my maracas and my dancing. Thank you for your help, Shaka Shashaka. To show my appreciation, I'll do a little dance for you and make your pouch bigger. But my maracas aren't working anymore. The croc seeds inside are all gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? The children of the forest must have taken them again. If I had even one croc seed, I could sing and dance and use my powers to help you. Well, luckily, I do have that. Um, Where's the lizard? I need to take a picture of this lizard. Hightail lizard, gotcha, all right. Let's get back to what we were doing then. 
Um, oh god, that stuff later. And Hestu's profile has been added. Ooh. Hestu, the spirited musician of Croc Forest, a tree fairy with a song in his heart. He is only visible to certain people. The power of his dance can increase the size of Link's pouches, but he has trouble keeping track of the Korok seeds his magical maracas require. Well, we can definitely help with that one, but we can see with this side adventure, Hestu lost the Korok seeds that were in his maracas. It sounds like it may have been the children of the forest who took them. If you collect Korok seeds and bring them to Hestu, he says he will help you by expanding your inventory. Sure. We have a, quite a few of them. Korok seeds make a really great sound when you put them in maracas but the seeds spilled all over the place when I broke my maracas. And I think the children of the forest took the seeds while I was all in a panic. <laughs> Hang on. Do you have a Korok seed? You do! You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me a Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger. Sure. Yeah. Chalaka! So which stash do you want more slots in? For right now, let's do bow stash, because I feel like this is the one we sort of need the most with how quickly bows end up breaking with how often we use arrows. Yeah. Okay, I'll just need one Korok seed, deal? Here you go. We have 13 left. Let the expansion begin. <laughs> Whoa, great dance. And with that, we get our ourselves an extra bow slot. Very cool. Da, na, 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 na. All right, well, thank you so much, Hestu. Expand a band band, bow stash, Shakala. So, so, are you happy with it? If you bring me more Korok seeds, I'll expand your inventory again. Hestu's concerns complete. Very nice. I'm in the middle of traveling. I'm thinking about heading east next. There are so many monsters these days, traveling is dangerous. What I'd like is to find somewhere I can relax. I like lively places, so maybe I'll go somewhere where somewhere lots of people hang out. Wait a sec, you still have Korok seeds on you, I can smell them. I'll be here a little longer. Want me to make your pouch even bigger? Yeah, let's do the shield stash this time. Okay, I'll just need one Korok seed. Deal, here you go. Let the expansion begin. So here we go with another wonderful dance. It's the same one, but this is so cute. Awesome. And there we go, now we can hold up the five shields. Dun, na, 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 na. All right. Expand a band band, shield stash, Shakala. Oh, look at the time. I've gotta get a move on. I'll be heading east soon. I hope I can find a place where I can relax. I still don't have enough Korok seeds, so get out there and find more for me, okay? All righty, next time we meet, let's dance together. So I guess we can't really do anything more with Hestu here. Sort of a shame, but that's okay. We'll have to, uh, I guess, just get more Korok seeds along the way. And under here, okay. Um, that was cool. And now we have more shield and uh, other things. And I see a bird. Oh, ah, oh, that didn't count. I didn't count. Oh, it's such a good photo too. Darn. Oh well. Um, hmm. Doesn't look like there's too much I can do out this way. That's not really the way I want to go anyway. So we'll leave all of that and continue towards this tower. But yeah, so great that we were able to find Hestu and um, get some expansions there. And we still have plenty of Korok seeds to make the most out of. Looks like there is uh, some interesting stuff over here in the water and everything. Might have to check that out soon. But for now, if I could just sneak up. Oh, can I get you, can I get you? I'm coming over! Ah, you got away, you got away. Oh, here's another one of those butterflies. We've, we took a picture of it before, but I couldn't quite actually get it, and now it's just gonna fly away, oh my goodness. So hard to get the bugs. Oh, what's going on in this cave though? Will we make a new discovery? Oh, this one goes down deep too. This is Lindor's Brow Cave in Hyrule Ridge. Okay. I mean, I'll try to grab that, the bright cap. And there's a few more of those. Whoa, we're going way down. Way, way down. Is this gonna lead to the depths? I don't think so. Just into some water here. Oh man, spooky. I'll grab as many bright caps as I can, but hey, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I couldn't quite get you in time. It's okay. A couple of bright bloom seeds. I want to break this open with the iron box hammer. And we get an amber before that falls. Oh, and there's a shrine in here. Whoa, convenient. Let's go check that out in a second. Get some more bright bloom seeds. I need as many of those as we can for when we do return to the depths. That'd be good. Uh oh. 
What in the world is that thing? Uh, hold on. What is that? It's coming over! Ah, run! What? What do we do against this? It's this big evil hand. I don't like it. I don't like it. We gotta run. It's so fast, too. It's corrupting me. What do we do? No, no, no. Come on, fight, fight, fight. I don't know what to do about this. We gotta keep running. Gotta keep running. I gotta get up here fast. Oh, wait. No, I'm out of stamina. I need to eat food. We have to have some food that gives us stamina, right? Here we go. Eat this up. And then go. Go. Come on, one more jump. One more jump. Ah! Okay, well, it seems like it can't get up here. Oh, man, that was crazy. We're not done, though. We're gonna fight this thing. Oh, that's gotta hurt, too. Let's just keep hitting them with the bombs, then. But maybe if it's darkness, can we hit this stuff with light? If we hit it with a uh, light bloom seed. I'm, I'm gonna sort this by uh, most use. Bright bloom seed. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Jeez, this is crazy. Uh, back to this then. Keep exploding them as much as we can. Even though I'm out of uh, most of my bows. They are almost defeated. I'm just gonna keep doing this then. This is crazy. And then one more time might do the trick. Ow, no, it hit me! <laughs> I thought that would work. I mean, it did, it just, ah. Oh. Well, I can't believe it, this monster, oh man, get up here quick. I don't wanna lose health this time. This monster doesn't seem to have a name or any way to picture it or anything. I'm trying to, but it doesn't really do anything. It's horrifying. Okay, uh, so I'm just gonna go back to what I was doing before because it worked, you know? Let's do that. Oh, and I hit it directly in the eye too, so it seems like it packed a punch. Ah, never mind. <laughs> I gotta be careful with the angling then or that's just gonna keep happening. But I did save this time, so I'm fine. Okay, come on now. I'm not gonna let these guys beat us. Let's just do the bomb again, but this time just be a little bit farther back, if I can. Something like this. Ah, not the best angle. There. That was working before if we just onslaught it this time. There we go. Come on, come on. Because these things are so powerful, too. There we go. And I'm not close enough to be hurt by the bombs either, so this feels like it's working pretty well. Come on, come on. Was that enough? I think so. Whoa, Phantom Ganon? Where, what? Phantom Ganon? Uh, take a picture of him for the photo book because I don't know if I'm ever gonna see the light of day again. What in the world? Uh, all right, well, I'm gonna do everything I can to fight this guy. I will not let him beat me. At least I'll try not to, we'll see. Uh, do I have anything that might just like make me stronger in any capacity? I mean, this is good for like hot weather attacks. Let me speed up a little bit. Like that. Um, make sure that my best gear is equipped. Really prepare for this. Uh, and then our shield. Yeah, okay. We gotcha. Oh, man. What do we do? Ready? Uh, oh, oh the, no, the darkness, though. It's gonna take my health. I can hit you pretty good with that, but I can't really reach you. Oh, come on. That hurts so much. We need some health back. Like, immediately. Let's do this. That's not enough. Uh... I think I might just have to leave it like that though and get up, run, run, run. And then maybe just get some normal fruit, apples or something just to get our health restored. I don't know if I can beat this guy. Uh, run. Ah! Come on, give me a chance here. Okay, I need to get my last bow here. Actually, second to last. So that's not so bad. Uh, I don't know, where are you going? Uh, wait, oh man. Do I have anything that maybe could work a little bit better here that's ranged? Is this ranged? I don't think it's ranged. No, it's not ranged. Uh, I'm panicking right now. I don't think I do. That's sort of my issue. Is that because, whoa, no, nah, man. I don't think we could beat this guy right now. I can't really reach him is the problem um, because every time he swings, all that bad stuff comes out. So I think we'll leave that. Even though I defeated the eyes and stuff, that is something we'll just have to come back more stronger. But we can at least do that shrine, right? So that we can come back here more easily. Oh, that was cool. So yeah, basically what we'll do is we'll run over here as fast as I can. And before all those monstrous eyes pop up, I'll hop up just like that. And we'll go and save here. So this was the Taki Ihaben shrine, something like that, Ihaben. Let's examine it and go in. But man, what a crazy experience. Can't really think about it too much now. Let's head into here and see what we can handle. Hopefully something. 
All right, here we go. Whoa, this one looks different. This is just like in the middle of a void. Raru's Blessing, the Takiyaban Shrine. Is this just like a freebie? Nice, all right, I'll take it. What's inside of here? Large Zonai Charge, a Zonai Charge with massive energy with stored within. We've gotten one of these before. Glad to get another one now. Oh man, was that really it? I don't see anything else around here, but quite the view as well. Thank you, Raru. All right, let's try this. I don't know if Raru will speak to us at all. Visitors to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. All right, so for this one, we get another cleansing light. I mean, it's nice to get another orb and stuff, but it's still so confusing to me. It just, such a simple one. And it wasn't even like, it was a nice prize, but it wasn't some kind of huge deal prize. You know what I mean? It's still nice to get Rara's blessing. Ooh. So we definitely need to go get some more health from these soon, because now we have five. More health would be very useful. <laughs> May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. I hope it does. But now we can come back here anytime that we need to, which is fantastic. I think if I can remember, maybe later in today's episode, I wanna go and just forge some more of the energy things, because I really need it. Like, there's a lot I need to do in this game, like so much. Uh, so I, that's definitely something we need to get to soon. But right now we're heading back. Okay, so we're back here. Uh, what else can we do here in Lindor's Brow Cave besides get demolished by Phantom Ganon? I can break this open and, ooh, this is new. So is this anything I can photograph? It's not, it is, uh, however, a luminous stone. This mysterious mineral gives off a pale blue glow in the, in the dark, which some believe to be souls of the dead. Apparently this stone can be used as a base to make special clothing. And then what about, this fish, which is cooked, so I guess I can't really. Uh, this is a roasted bass, a bass that's been cooked whole over an open flame. This flaky and savory smelling, it's flaky and savory smelling, offers more hearts than a raw version. Does that mean, oh, it, the, the chest, not the chest, but the box that we had finally broke. That's so funny. So yeah, luckily now I can come back here at any point, which is great, because uh, I don't know if there's too much more I can do here to handle all this. I don't wanna deal with that, right, so. Let's see, if I could try to get up there, that'd probably be the next best idea. Cause I just can't beat that thing. We're not quite at a spot to do it, but ooh, okay, wait a minute. Let's fight this. Here, I'll just switch over to uh, this Zonite sword. And that should be another um, bubbly, whatever it's called, bubble gem. Cool, we're at the se up to seven of them now. And is there anything cool up there? I mean, there's a ton of these. Like that makes me think, right? That using the light would help. But we already tried that and it didn't really do anything. Um, no, not that. Okay, well I'm getting your attention, even more so. Uh, if I go like this, sort by most use, it doesn't do anything. No, oh, I wanted that. Okay, it's fine. Uh. I don't see too much more of what we can do here then. Uh, I think we'll leave this area as much as I can. I might wanna go back to the other shrine over there or something. I could try to run. I just don't think I can outrun. I don't need to outrun. I can just climb up. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Travel, see ya. <laughs> don't have to deal with you now, right? Oh man, that is horrifying. So I did mark this on my map, that there's an important stamp here, but seeing how I don't wanna wa waste any more time with this, I wanna get out of here. Let's just ascend from wherever I can find it. Just get back to the surface. I think that'd be a better idea for the time being. Okay, we're almost there, right? Where are we climbing up to? I think we might be going way, way up. Very cool, well, look at this, how convenient. Here's our tower. With that being said, it's a bit high up. Um. We might have to get a little fancy when it comes to actually 
getting to it. All right, well, I can do it. Let's see. We do have all these building materials over here. If we could build a raft of some sort and then get it over there and then maybe have an upward draft, that could work, right? Sure, why not? We'll give it a try. So I want to switch over from not this, but to Ultra Hand. We'll get one of the bigger rafts if I can. Get it flat like this. And then uh, bring it a little closer. I mean, that's really all I need for a uh, a basic raft. But if I wanted to do something crazier, which I have a couple of ideas. If I were to raise it like this, I don't know. There we go. Ooh, okay, I'm getting better at rotating these. See, if I were to do something like this, can I climb these? I can, nice. I have an idea on how we can maybe get this to be a little bit higher up. So what I wanna do, grab one of these, and in that same way, we will uh, do that and get it about here. Whatever I really need to attach all these. I mean, I think that'd be fine. I mean, that's sort of the cool thing about this is it doesn't necessarily need to be stable. I don't think, it's not gonna snap, is it? If I stand up here, yeah, it doesn't snap. So that's cool. I mean, obviously we want it to be sturdy enough that it actually can go through the water more easily. But we'll attach this here. <laughs> this is gonna be so silly. Uh, and then we'll do one more on the top of it. That way it makes, what do you know, a staircase that we can use to get up there. So I just don't think we currently have the stamina to climb it. We could of course eat food that would give us more stamina, but this is more fun. So I'm doing it this way. There we go. So now if I grab this whole thing and push it out here like this, it should be fine enough. Oh, well, maybe not. It needs some counterweights. It needs some counterweights for sure. So uh, what can we do about that? Let's apply some. If we get this over here and attach it right there, look at this, we're applying some critical thinking. It should hopefully help. We'll put this one right about you're just as much on the edge as we can manage. The more we do that, the more it's going to uh, add that kind of counterweight to it. Which, if we really wanted to go crazy with that, if we rotate this, reset. It's it's not resetting. Um. Uh -oh. Here, try that again. There we go. I want to stick this one out a little bit farther, and then add more weight from there if I can. You can get really fancy with this. It's a lot of fun. Uh. I don't know if that's quite enough weight to properly counterweight it, but it's definitely helping. If I add one of these big ones to the end of this, and is this a maybe over-engineered in a way? Probably. Uh, okay, I'm just trying to rotate this way in a, in a way that actually works. No, come on, I need that still. I need that back. There we go. I just want this right there. Oh, maybe it did break. Did it break? Oh, it's still together, but it's very flimsy. So yeah, there is sort of limits that we have to learn. Oh, the whole thing is gonna sink now. So that's the one issue, is that it's, it's just not gonna stay super buoyant. So, hmm. I might wanna start over, <laughs> but it's good to know. Those are the kind of things I'm trying to experiment with. But you know what, we could do at least to make some kind of platform here, just so I don't have to undo everything. So I can just grab this. Make it flat and attach it so it's at least something I can stand on. It's enough. Sure, why not? There's definitely better ways to do it than what I just did. But uh, that should be good enough that if we wanted to, we should uh, pause, bring out one of these, the fans. And hold on, hold on. Where do you think you're going? Please get back here. Turn it around and attach. Now it's not gonna be the craziest thing in the world, but all I really need from it is uh, the turn on, giving a bit of a boost upwards, and then I just don't have to climb the whole way up. There we go. Did I really need to do all that? Probably not, but either way, we're at Linder's Brow Skyview Tower, so I feel like it was a win regardless. Let's get to the top of this thing, right, can we? Okay, I was gonna say, if we can't open it, I'd be so bummed. All right, so we're gonna be doing our second Skyview Tower here. Awesome, so we can travel to this at any point in time, but now for the fun part, right? We're gonna gear up and get launched. Whoa. Okay, so do we just walk up here? Let's go. 
Ah, I don't like this part. So does this mean that we're sort of like standing on an upside down? I think we are, like it's an upside down monster from the first game, I forget their names. Oh, here we go. Into the sky, where we'll have to mark everything out on our map. Oh man, and there's a lot of islands up here we can get to at some point too, so that'll be cool. Oh, I love this part. The whole world in our view. There's so much to do here. But for now, it's all just about charting it out. So you can see on our map, another huge section of Hyrule has been revealed, and that will be Hyrule Ridge as well as Tabantha Frontier. The surface map updated. And for the sky, plenty more islands as well. The sky map updated here. So maybe we could explore some more of those later on. I would sure hope so. But for right now, we're just falling down. Okay, I can start to glide. So if we did want to make our way to one of these islands, like we have one over here, that might be a good idea. I see this really small island. Maybe I could start with this. Whoa, is it just a rock? It's just a little rock. Well, not entirely what I was after then. What was the other one I saw? Oh, down there. Okay, so it's a little bit lower than this for sure. Uh, I'll get to here and then we'll try to get to this one. Cause this is the crazy one. Yeah, the very top of it is what we're really after, right? I think I have enough stamina just to glide over. I guess we're gonna find out. I mean, I'm not even halfway done my stamina and I'm definitely a lot closer than halfway. There's also another opening to the, uh, the depths down there. So that's good to know. What is this about? Is this gonna be like another kind of shrine entrance? Sundalion, nice. Let's take a picture of this one. All right, uh, take a picture of the Sundalion. And what about this heron? I think we've taken a picture, it's a blue one. Seems to have fun up here. See, what can we do with all this? This looks like something we can interact with, and it is. Whoa. Will this be another shrine entrance? It's gotta be something. Uh. There's a ledge. Whoa! What is that? Uh. The Courage Island. Oh, is this where I can glide? That would be so cool. I think it's a gliding game. Well, uh, that's really cool for sure. Do we have the courage to go through the ring and maybe glide all the way down? I think maybe that is something we will save for the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.